everyone welcome back to femacy lighthouse thank you so much for being here with me once more on my channel to book a private one-on-one -on -one session with me all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video today i will be uploading taurus versus cancer and taurus versus virgo so if you are not yet a member of the femacy lighthouse vip i will put the link for you to join in the comment section the moon is still in sagittarius today let's get started Spirit, please speak to me in reference to energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. We have the Ace of Cups energy coming out there. Tell me more. All right. So we have the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Okay. So this is something that's very fluid. I feel that there's people around you that are giving you a lot of attention or just wanting to make you the center of attention is what I'm getting. It's like the more that these people watch you, the more affection they wanna provide or the more interested they become, the more they see what you're up to, the more they just wanna be around you. Something like that is going on with the Ace of Cups being present here. It's like there's this overflow or a large amount of whatever it is that's going on. You know, I don't know what's going on. It just seems big. It seems like it's getting bigger. It seems like it's increasing because we go from the six of pentacles to the king of pentacles and that's you, king of pentacles energy. So it's like, I feel that you're in a vibration of improving some things in your life. I feel that you will be walking away from habits that no longer serve you, behaviors that no longer serve you. Um, there's certain attitudes that you will be changing. I feel that your taste is changing. You know, I'm also getting that these people are noticing this new version of you, this new side of you, which makes you even more attractive. And therefore, that's why I feel like there's so many people that are concentrated on you right now. So it feels very abundant and it feels like you're headed in the right direction with the six of pentacles turning you into this king of pentacles here. So very nice energy. Tell me more. Spirit, talk to me about the recent past here. Energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. So we have the eight of pentacles. Yes, yeah, like the more you put work into something, the better you're going to get, the bigger it gets the more attention it gets. So it's like this project is what you're supposed to be focused on. I'm not sure what that project is, right? For each of you, it's going to be something different. But it's like your work is definitely being recognized. They're recognizing you for what it is you're putting your effort into. I don't feel like you're looking for anybody's attention. I don't feel like you care if people are watching you or not. I just feel like You've been so dedicated to what you've been creating that it has garnered you so much attention without you even knowing. It's like you may think that people are not paying attention. They really are. And they are also bringing other people to look at what you're doing with the Eight of Pentacles energy. Tell me more. All right. So talk to me about love in the recent past. Talk to me about love. We have the Two of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for some of you. And we also have the world. So something is wrapped up or ending or changing. Your feelings are changing for a certain person. And it was a perfect time for your feelings to change because like I said, you go from the Six of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. And it's like, that's where your focus needs to be. So in order for you to be dedicated to your work ethic, you can't be distracted with this person over here that doesn't seem to know what they want, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Leo, another Taurus, all right? A Libra or a Gemini, that's ending or you're choosing to end that cycle. It's like you're not as attracted as you once were. It's, it's something that they did or their behaviors have stayed the same. You have been transcending. You have been undergoing this metamorphosis. And it's like 
They don't want to change who they are. And you're okay with that in the recent past. I feel like you're accepting them for who they want to continue to be. And you feel like at this time, you're not able to change them. And I don't feel like anybody else can change them either. They're going to continue to be this version of themselves with everyone else. You know, so it's not just a you thing. Um, I feel like this individual is just never satisfied. And every time they accomplish someone, because they look at it as an accomplishment, every time they accomplish someone, they're looking for the next person to go after. So there's something like that going on with this person. It's like, yes, they're ambitious, but their ambition could be leading them in the wrong direction when it comes to their relationships. It's like, if you find someone that you feel is your match, you don't need to go and try to find somebody else just because you accomplished that person. I feel like that's how they view relationships. It's like, okay, I got this person. Now I'm going to see what else I could get. And that's not going to lead this person to happiness. All right. And I feel like they may gain some realizations on that. All right. I feel like in the recent past, they have been, but they continue to ignore their intuition. So as long as they do that, then whatever they do is going to be destructive. Now, talk to me about the present. Spirit, talk to me about the present. That was the recent past. Energies in the present. Page of Swords. Almost every day. All right. So someone watching you, paying attention to what you're up to, just like I told you with the Ace of Cups. They're watching how you're working on yourself. They are talking about how you have changed. So each of you made this drastic change that people were not expecting you to make. Okay, whether it's the fact that you're not chasing somebody anymore or the fact that you switched up careers, um, you may be moving out of town. Something about you is so different and it makes people want to learn more about your process, like I told you the other day. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. Talk to me about the Page of Swords. You know, they are overwhelmed with something. I don't know what they're overwhelmed with. I don't know why they're disappointed either. All right. Something went wrong, but they still watch. I don't know if they're communicating with you. I don't feel like they are. If they are communicating with you, it's very immature because we have the page. So that's why you're probably not wanting to give your energy to this. Okay, tell me more. Talk to me about the present. The Knight of Wands, yeah. Whomever it is that's watching you is definitely in their feelings and they're still interested, okay? You know that they're interested even if you haven't heard from them or even if they're being shady because like I said, as soon as they accomplish someone, and I feel like I have to explain it like that because that's how I see them living their life where it's like, oh, okay, I got this one. Now I'm gonna see if I could get that one. You know, it's like they're using their ambition in the wrong way. And they're ruining relationships all over the place. Okay, it's like they need to be ambitious for their career, how to get money, how to be independent, how to do it on their own, how to live on their own, you know, instead of being codependent, because I feel like this person is codependent. So like I spoke about before, they always need a plus one. So they need to focus their ambition in a different direction instead of being so ambitious to get the next man, get the next woman. You know what I mean? No, if you got the person right in front of you, why do you feel like you have to go and get another one? I don't understand what they're doing. I feel like they know who their person is, but they keep chasing the next thing. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on with them. However, they're still interested in you and in probably everybody else. I have to be honest. Tell me more. It's like they have this viral way of thinking. They get distracted very easily as well. 
Okay, so one minute they're focused on you, then the next minute they're like switching it up because of whatever they saw on their social media or, you know what I mean? Something like that. Tell me more. Seven of Swords, you see? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Switching it up. Like, I know you could feel that they're up to no good, still interested in you, but just really having to change their perspective. Um, I don't know if they're ready to grow up. I don't feel like they are. This is somebody that, you know, as soon as they, they have what they finally were looking for, they're off chasing something else. And they're ruining their life by doing that. And they're ruining relationships that they'll probably never get to have back again. You know, everyone that came into this person's life came in their life for a purpose and they're ruining their destiny. Something like that is happening with this individual. They're showing up as a seven of swords. So obviously they're up to no good. What is the future? Communication. All right. About what? What's this? What is this communication about? I mean, they're picking up what you're putting down. Don't sleep. You know, if you said something to them, they're taking it very personal. I feel like it needs to be said to them and they need to be hearing it. All right, because I feel like this person avoids the truth. But you're meant to tell them what they need to hear, whether they like it or not. Okay, um... They hear what you're saying. They hear it, but they acting like they don't see you, though. They acting like they don't see you, but they're listening to you. Okay. Um, and they know that you care. They know that you may love them. And that's the only reason why you're being brutally honest. But it's like they're not ready to face this yet for some reason in the future. They're listening, though. I hear them listening to you speak or reading your messages even if they don't reply to you they're reading them okay tell me more the eight of cups yeah it's like they're concerned with the fact that you're doing this the eight of cups energy that's what they're concerned with for some reason so i don't know if you're turning your back on this person or planning on doing that, they feel like they're losing you or they feel like you're this missed opportunity. And you might be, but that was the lesson that they were supposed to learn, right? That's the lesson they needed to learn, the fact that they were not supposed to play in your face like that and think it was gonna be okay and that they weren't gonna lose you just because they were occupied doing something that they weren't ever supposed to be doing. But since they get distracted so easily, they end up in the wrong situations. And then they always wanna come back to you. But the thing is, is that maybe this time, there's no coming back to you because you're not allowing it. And that is their karma. That will be their karma and they'll get it in the future. Even if they don't wanna get it right now, that's fine. All right. For them to learn, they need time. And especially if they're stubborn and they don't want to listen. Right. Because they always want to be the one in charge. That's fine. You have to be a student sometimes. You know. Anything else? King of Cups. Yeah. I feel that. You have to continue to be this queen of swords. Continue to speak your truth to this person. You know, I feel like this whole season you have been in this queen of swords energy, just really telling somebody how you feel and they need to hear it. And because of what you are saying, it has them in this energy of reflection, okay? They're reflecting on their losses, their behavior and how they could have done something differently. I don't feel like... They're apologizing. I don't feel them doing that, okay? Because they, they're not willing to heal themselves. So if you're not willing to heal, you're not going to say sorry for anything. 
If you want to continue to lie to yourself, then you're going to continue to act like you didn't do anything wrong and you're going to point the finger and gaslight. So this is a big gaslighter right here. Just like to, you know, make you feel like, like it's you and it's really them and they don't want to admit it. They'll tell you it was like this and then they'll make you feel some type of way when it's not you, it's them. Something like that is going on. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.